Good morning, you guys. Well, I came up to my room to get my clothes on. I'm going to go walking, and <laughs> Chloe and Coco were sitting in this chair. Now, now Coco has decided. Coco, I don't know why she wants to rub around. Um, you can tell my voice sounds a little weird. I have a cold. Ugh. If you have any natural remedy that you know, please write in and tell me. I am trying to do it natural, so I'm doing a lot of tea and honey and um, taking vitamin C, and I'm going to go get some echinacea and um, arnica, so if you have anything else, write in and tell me. There's Clover. And um, I loved my shoes that I had taken off this weekend that were on the floor. <laughs> I thought, well, that's kind of cool looking. Um, I love nude shoes. I think it's blurry. I don't know, my eyes. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, these are some awesome shoes. Can't beat these. Um, and that's my chair, other chair. Oh, but I was reading my book that I try to get some good thoughts out of that's called Instant Happy. This uh, Karen um, Salmonson, she has a lot of good books. So I've told you that before. But this was the page that I opened up to. And it's a rainbow, which I love. Love rainbows. And, um, so basically, let me read it to you. And I actually can maybe just show you outside. You might like to see the beautiful, it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, kind of bright. If I can get a good view for you. Anyway, it says, much of the pain in life comes from having a life plan that you've fallen in love with, but that doesn't work out. Having to find a new plan hurts. The trick is to not is not to become too attached to any particular life plan and to remember there's always a better, even happier life plan out there somewhere. So let me see if I can get that in writing because this is so cool. There it is. Let's see if I can get it to focus. The trick is not to become too attached to any particular life plan and to remember there's always a better, even happier life plan out there somewhere. <sighs> that was amazing. Unexpected that I would open it to that. Um, so, my thought for the day of that is, um, I think we all have certain things that we um, plan our whole life. I think we start as young children and we plan what our life will be like. And that's not all bad. I mean, you know, there's that there is something true in the law of attraction. You call it to you. You you write it down, you dream it, you speak it. Um, however, sometimes, um, I think when that plan involves another person and it takes two of you to agree on the plan, that's probably where the, you know, problem and conflict comes in. Um, so, you know, I just think it's very positive to think, you know, that there's an even happier plan than whatever you had in your mind. And it's sort of that just expect something wonderful to happen every day. And that's, that's what I do. That's what I'm going to continue to do. But um, there definitely is difficulty in, you know, just walking through that immediate uh, change. So I'm sending you much love. Hopefully you will find some strength and some joy and happiness and um, positivity in some of the words that... I don't even know what I've said, but um, I know I find strength in your words that you write me. So brush off the negative. Uh, when the haters seem to bark loudly, that that's a sign to me again. I take it as a positive way that, um, you know, we are making a mark. We're making a change. And, um, you know, really love is the answer. So I do say to people who continue to write negative things, um, Love is the answer. Let go of your anger and your hate and your sadness. It is only bringing that to you. And to write negative things is absolutely, um, you know, just bringing hurt upon yourself. So I hope you come here and you get strengthened and um, you feel the much, much love and positive vibes that I'm sending out to you. And um, I hope you'll send them back to me. Much love, you guys. Come on.